five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Yeah. Have a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's been on a couple times. Elon Musk is a, is a, you know, he's incredible. He's one of, he's an alien. Uh, diamond, it? yeah, diamond rough alien. It sounds about right. That's why maybe he's trying to get back to his people up in up in the sky. <laughs> we are live, Austin Branson, um, on Pillars of Community. I am your host, um, Billy Garish. Welcome, Austin. Hey, Bill. What's going on? Great to be here, bud. Yeah. Good to have you. Oh my gosh, we go back to MD days. First grade? First grade, Griffinland. I am was the, kind of the odd duck. Who comes in in second grade? I mean, me. I'm a little bit odd, so yeah. jam in second grade. Do your thing. Brian Hill? Remember that you, name? Yeah, you and Brian came I in think so, grade. right? You could have. Miss Car- Miss Carliner. Miss Car- I see her. I, I see her. I kind of no, you don't. Randomly from time to time. Still floating around. Oh, at, my gosh. At the Starbucks I go to. Unbelievable. Did you talk to her? No, I'm t- still terrified of her. <laughs> It's just that scar tissue. I feel right? like she used to beat us. It was. She was tough. She was real tough. She slapped knuckles. Yeah, she was. She was intense. I remember I had a quote. I guess I had a leg up. I I knew cursive, and <laughs> still uh, I knew I knew I knew how, I knew how to like yeah <laughs> spell my name in cursive. I knew some of the cursive, and she's like, all right, maybe she's like take. Taking kind to me because I was the new person. Huh? She's like, you can be my, like, TA. <laughs> hey, boys, I know cursive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get, get over here. This Garish guy, hey, man, he really, he's up on his cursive. All right. He's going to be first pick on uh, Capture the Flag. <laughs> maybe that, or maybe because he's a giant. <laughs> uh, but I would walk around and, like, I don't know. She'd be like, you take these, this row. I remember, this, is a, this is a crazy responsibility that she gave me. Uh, she's such an empowering figure. Uh, and I go, go check their cursive. I'm like, you, okay. You, you peaked in second grade. I peaked in second grade? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get back, get that Carliner magic back. <laughs> Put that in a bottle. <laughs> Put it on the, keep it on the shelf. Oh, man. So, so you see her at Starbucks. How old is she? She's gotta be like 80? She's older than she was. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But. Uh, dude, was she a nun? She she's like seemed like it. She's like, there's like she's a lore, like, or like she's like an urban legend. She is. Yeah. She really was indifferent than everyone else at, at modern day. Right? Yeah. 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 She was certainly like an outlier. Yeah. With yeah. respect to the rest of the staff. Lower school was all sweetness. I mean, all the teachers. Yeah. There were just lovely. Yeah. But at third grade was McCaig, right? Or yeah, yeah. She was there. Miss Leahy. Miss Leahy. Yeah. She was amazing. She was. And then Miss Lippman, who's still there, still in that fourth grade chair. No way. Oh yeah. She's oh yeah, awesome. Big Sue. Yeah. She's she's awesome. She's very very fun. Fourth grade was fun. She's very good. She's strict. She's like no BS. You know, yeah. put, a good, put a good balance of it. Not in the, I, I, not I agree. In the terrified. Way. Not over the top. Yeah. You know. Um, but yeah, Miss Carolina was. I remember when she left. I was like, she gonna. Someone was like, she's gonna go to, to the nunnery, <laughs> convent. <laughs> yeah, the opposite of sound of music. I watched Sound of Music the other day. Yeah, it's a good, good I haven't, flick. Right? I haven't seen it in a long time. We, we watched it with our girls. Yeah, not, not it's so either. good. Yeah. Really good. Talking about the pandemic earlier, it's like you and me were kind of like, you were saying that you're, it was, you're, it's, you're kind of fortunate, you know? Number one, you're, you're healthy. You have your health. But number two, to just spend, spend time inside your walls with your beautiful family. Yeah, no, it's nice when you like the people you live with. <laughs> Helps! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You actually want to spend time with them. You're not looking for <laughs> work to get out of the house it's, to get away from. It's an excuse to be with them. Yeah, and the girls are young it's enough. Beautiful to thing. Do. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Great wife, great life. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, it's so for amazing. You, know, you ever <laughs> made that connection? <laughs> hey, babe, I got a good one from the podcast. <laughs> I know your name comes from amazing, doesn't it? Because <laughs> that's what you are. All right, now can I go play some golf? <laughs> well, well played. Uh, well played. Uh, that, that may work. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, it's been in mind. It's, you have you just met the girl, the three girls. Jack's the eleven year old. He's at modern day right now. But um, lucky kid. Yeah, he's a great kid. Smart. 
I think a really good fit in Griffin Land. But the uh, it's so much fun to it, 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 it was a, it's a, a crappy thing for so many people for so many different reasons. But if uh, if you're that fortunate that fortunate little group that can stay home and enjoy your family, it's a it's a beautiful thing, you know. It's uh, it's um, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's just a lot that we should it's learn a, from it's in, ex- in the future. Absolutely, take take with us. Take stock. Quietness and yeah, not overdoing everything and just quality time matters more than a lot. So um, your calendar gets full like really easily, you know. Right. And like the calendar was wide open for a year plus. Yeah. Um. So balance, <laughs> like balance, and life. balance. Yeah, I love it. Let's figure that out. Uh, amen. So, Smathers and B. The B stands for Branson, okay? And that's you. Uh, how come his name's first, huh? Uh, the alternative Rock, paper, was, scissors? No, it was just uh, the initials of the thing. You can't have BS as the name of your... That's a good point. ...abbreviation of your business. It's kind of two on the nose. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's, that, that's easy enough. Yeah. Uh, what's Smathers' first name? Uh, Peter, but his, Smathers is actually his middle name, but just kind of... Sounds it right. sounds right. Yeah. Kind of like it, Smuckers. Say it with your mouth closed. Smothers. Smothers. <laughs> Clinch jaw. Yeah. Smothers. Um, Smothers and Branson. Yeah. That's great. Started out of college. Out of college, you said. Uh-huh. Out of Bowdoin. Every kid's dream. Start a needlepoint business. How did how did, how did this come about? Uh, Why needlepoint? Or, uh, why not, Bill? I agree. But uh, um, how, did you get, how did you get to that? So the story goes that when I met Maisie, amazing. <laughs> amazing, yeah. Amazing. Uh, yeah. Short, we, we, short we were studying abroad in Florence, Italy, our junior year in college. So cool. The best place. I on, wish I went abroad. Uh, yeah, it's the best place. Florence on is, a, uh, yes. Like, I've been there a couple times, but yes. <laughs> you can do a whole series of shows about Florence, but yeah. it's, it's amazing. But uh, for my 21st birthday, she gave me a belt that she had made. It's like a old world kind of ha- mm-hmm. hobby, right? Mm-hmm. It's kind of this art. And me, 21-year-old kid, no clue, no appreciation for the kind of work that went into that or, or why she did it or yeah. had pink elephants and martinis on it. Not really, not really my look. <laughs> became I, your look. Became, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I visionary. W- wore the thing happily and dutifully around as a good boyfriend and got a lot of compliments. It was, it was pink elephants and martinis. That was the design. She and that she made, she stitched, she stitched it. Oh, yeah. smokes. Um, and just kind of said, cool. Thanks. Yeah. And, um, wore it around and just kind of, Got the random compliment, yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, Peter Carter, Peter Smathers, Carter, my business, my, yeah. my business partner. His girlfriend also made him a belt, coincidentally. Um, and I don't know if it's a thing you ever saw growing up. I just, ne- I just never knew anybody. I don't know if your yeah. mom or grandma yeah. and it wasn't, but um, but in the right places, I guess, was a thing. And so we just got a lot of compliments and being dumb young kids. We're like, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, like, hey, my friend wants one. Can you make him one? And Macy was kind of like, uh, that's really takes a long time. It's really hard. And it, Fingers need yeah. to recover. They're still bleeding. And it costs a lot of money to do it. Like it's, she would spend like three hundred bucks. It's like an expensive gift to give someone plus your time. Mm-hmm. And so just the kind of practical, logical side of us, like, well, that seems silly. We can fix that. Mm-hmm. People like these things. Mm-hmm. Um, and like incredibly complicated. The whole thing's handmade. And mm-hmm. it, but um, we just kind of thought it was something that we could do. And mm-hmm. why not? We didn't getting out of college and you could go work in finance or whatever something boring yeah. and that didn't sound so exciting no and so we hopped on a plane went over to vietnam and taught people there to needlepoint um you taught people over there how to needlepoint yeah so uh, why vietnam why not well why not vietnam? um yeah i don't know we uh we were just seniors in college just super excited about this idea um told everyone we knew we were going to start this needlepoint business so it was when you came back from florence so you came back from Florence. You wore it probably around here in the states, you know, probably over yeah, the summer. Yeah, so you know, yeah, pink elephants solid, and martinis. Very summer. Solid year after <laughs> the gift <laughs> was made. It finally started to be like, wait a minute, this starting clicking. And we yeah, just telling yeah. everyone, hey, this is this is what we're gonna do. Yeah. And, and most people gave us the uh, the real solid eye roll. Yeah. Like, oh, good luck with that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we were just pretty determined and told everyone we knew, and we. One friend of a friend was kind of in the import export business and saw two bright eyed young kids. I'm like, sure, here's a stack of business cards. Go, go fish. And, uh, go fish. And I think it was probably being genuine, probably somewhat just making us work at work or something. And yeah. um, out of the 
50, 60 emails or whatever we sent. Like two came back. Here's a stack. Okay. Stack of business cards. <clears throat> people you should contact. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I mean, people all over the world, mostly Asia, India, um, South America, maybe. Um, and this one guy in Vietnam was kind of the only promising lead that responded with like the most broken English you can imagine. Uh huh. No idea what we were talking about. Yeah. Um, I'm just, you still have that. Still but, have that email. But he responded, and that was that was a start. Yeah. <laughs> so. Do you still have that email? Uh, somewhere. No, it's probably in my old Bowden.edu. Yeah. Um, check check your Excel uh, password. I'm sure. I'm sure someone does. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, uh, <coughs> but anyway, so we yeah just hopped a plane. We learned how to needlepoint. Our girlfriends taught us. Mm-hmm. We'll be sitting on the lacrosse bus on the way home from games. And oh my needle, Needlepointing the back. No, you know? sure. Um, that's that's typical. That's normal, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, Standard. It, yeah, it takes like uh, um, abnormal thing to create. A but we were into it. We were, we were product. into it. We just we just thought thought this was something, and <coughs> threw all of our eggs in the basket. Yeah, and went off. And uh, so Vietnam was the was the fish, huh? Yeah, it was it was the one that 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 bit that bite. Yeah, and uh, turned out to be. I mean, this this guy had just started his company. Vietnam was kind of opening up, allowing private enterprise and um, this guy was desperate um, hungry for he's like I, I don't care what it is I'll learn <laughs> so we went over there and taught them and he started with about 20 stitchers in his village his like family and friends taught them we taught them and now he's got <coughs> I don't know depending on the time of year two to five thousand people working for him um, still the same guy still the same guy and it, it, his two boys are involved we've kind of <laughs> his boys have been over here li- lived with us for a while learned our business and so he, can you say his name? Kwong. Kwong. Ding Van Kwong. How do you spell it? Kwong. Q U A N G. So he, so he was one of those cards in that stack, the Go Fish stack. Yeah, he was. And uh, he responded. He's like, and he, and he, he basically went over, went over there to Vietnam, right? Yeah. Met with the guy. And he, uh, we were, we were staying in a hotel, and he came to meet us, and it was. Peter and I went downstairs, 22 years old, right? Um, fall, of 2000, <coughs> fall of 2004. You okay, Bill? Yeah, I'm all right. Hairball? Yeah, like wrong pipe, you know. Okay. Um, but uh, he came down and was like looking for us in the lobby, and he went now. He went and asked the hotel concierge or whatever. And he was like, uh, I'm looking for these two guys, Austin and Peter. Or actually, he said Austin and Peter. And, <coughs> guys. and they pointed in our direction. <clears throat> You need something? All right, a little water, you know? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he, 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 he got redirected to us and came over super disappointed looking. Because I think, again, this is his his hopes and dreams. And I think he was hoping there was like this, he thought we were like an old <laughs> married couple. Yeah, Started yeah. this needlepoint business and found these two young kids. and Lipper snappers. Like, oh, God, these guys are going to be hopeless. Yeah. And uh, But stuck with it. We stuck with him. and Yeah. Bit by bit. Yeah. Brick by brick. Stitch yeah. by stitch. I love that, yeah. Yeah. Kwong. And he's still doing it. He's like, and his sons are in the business and stuff. Yeah, no. They're... So why was he, he, he viewed it as like a business opportunity for him and um, getting some other Vietnamese in this sort of business. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it, this is um, a way for him to support his village, right? I mean, like mm-hmm. it started, he, uh, it was a, he grew up in this kind of tiny rice farming village outside of Hanoi. Mm-hmm. And, um, grew up during the war and all that yeah and um country had gone through a lot but as it started to open up and real business became a thing it's good industrial industrious energy to to get something going and support his people and make some money for his friends and family and and they, they've killed it i mean they went from making kind of subsistence farming with rice crop to, yeah to having real income um and so i mean they've it, what, they, what they've done is just remarkable. It's really, really uh, difficult handicraft work that they do. Mm-hmm. Um, and to, to be able to do it on this scale and at their quality is incredible. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Hit the, hit the, hit the gold mine, it's the all, it's home all, run. It's all them, yeah. Couldn't, couldn't do it again, I don't, I don't think, if we tried. You couldn't do it again, meaning you couldn't. <clears throat> yeah, it's just so many, you know, every business has so many lucky steps along yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and for us, that was kind of the key one yeah unreal but, yeah gonna started, started in belts started with belts and we keep coming up with new stuff new things you can stitch yeah yeah um what's the latest make, make all sorts of stuff uh latest we just launched this past week some some loafers for real 
For real. Like um, uh, beautiful. Like loafer loafer or like slipper. Loafer loafer. So it's like, like fancy uh, loafer, like leather. A leather sh- leather shoe with the the horse bit. Um, uh-huh. oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of that classic look, and we just threw our ne- needlepoint strap underneath the horse bit. Just give it a little bit of, a little bit of stitch, a little touch of, of what we do. Yeah, make it our own. Yeah, um, and they're beautiful. Found this shoemaker in Brazil, who makes an incredible shoe. And again, just kind of keep throwing stuff at the wall. Yeah, um, and love this product. We love toiletry kits. I mean, you can you name mm-hmm. it. We just keep coming out with, with new fun stuff. Oh yeah, um, we love golf, so we keep making golf stuff. Yeah, head covers and um, just kind of. Peter golfs. Peter does golf. He does. Who's 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 uh you know who is it? Smathers or Branson uh, when it comes down down to it on the golf course? Uh, we're we're fairly even matched. He had a rough go of it for the past like four years. His back yeah. was kind of yeah. You know I don't know I don't know what it was. It was one of those real bad back situations where he almost almost had to give up the game. Knock on wood, like back. That's you don't one. want that. You don't want that. That's a tough one. I, I'm 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 lucky enough. My back's going strong. That's a tough one. Yeah. Um, but now he's recovered, luckily, and so he's getting back in the swing. Awesome. Yeah. Where does he play? Uh, he lives in San Francisco. He moved out there. Oh. Um, he he uh, he grew up in Maine, up and yeah. moved down here. Lived with my parents. You know, we did, uh-huh. literally did the whole like uh-huh. start out of the garage. Yeah. yeah. Lived with Mr. and Mrs. Branson for, for a couple of years, which was a good penance from. Uh, so he did his duty, and, <laughs> and then he married a, a great girl and moved out to California. Maybe. A while ago now, five, six, seven years. Yeah. So he plays out in San Francisco. Is he say uh, San Diego? San Fran. San Fran. Yeah. Um, so we have a West Coast office. Cool. There. Yeah. I guess it's good to have, you know, both sides of the country covered. Yeah, you could say that. Most important thing is that he's happy, right? Yeah. And you know, happy, happy employees. And he was a, a, he was on the, the frontier, the, the leading edge of work from home, work from anywhere. Mm-hmm. That kind of the whole country's mm-hmm. in right now. So mm-hmm. now it's fine. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's kind of. Prove the prove the concept before work from home before it was cool. Yeah, <clears throat> he's talking about uh, him out there um, with Smathers in Branson, or is that just like the culture out there in just San Francisco? No, no, yeah, he's just he's just him. That's just who he is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. There's no not yet. I mean, maybe there will be a. a real, we, we kind of always joke. He's in his basement. We kind of always <laughs> joke. It's West Coast office. Maybe maybe someday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a, a real presence out there. Um, I mean, as a company, we're kind of east of the mississippi heavier yeah right? Need, needlepoint is yeah it's a your, your, your tougher market to, like tu- the preppy tougher to penetrate in california yeah. kind of yeah i mean the golf course there's so much great golf out there and that's a good fit for us but. yeah golf's huge okay. i mean you're just i mean how many years have you been down to the masters um as a we've been there for i mean your, pro, your products in the pro shop yeah that's like yeah, yeah they're, can't get much higher than that it's a pretty good place they that's an amazing business, what they do. And You're talking about what? Uh, the, the Augusta? Tournament. Yeah, the tournament. Yeah, the, the tournament. Yeah. Oh well, I, I went this year um, on Thursday, the, the kind of limited mm-hmm. patrons. Um, mm-hmm. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Went down for Thursday. It was just so intimate. Yeah, right An- another like sort of like perk of the pandemic. It was just like if you can get into the, any of these, these events, you know, it's just like, a very, as you said, intimate deal you're not dealing with crowds mm-hmm. you're getting way up close i mean it's probably have you, uh, done, have you done anything fun like have you been like any of these uh, no I haven't done. nats game yet uh yeah i went to a nats game yeah that was that was cool you know you have the whole you know you whatever like before pa- pandemic you always look for like the row with like you know it's totally free no yeah, one's in it now, now, now everyone's got their own row yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so i mean yeah it's like i was talking to susan laz <clears throat> who's ridgewell she's the ceo of ridgewell got it and she's a columbia I remember I taught her son. She's um, she has the commission for catering at um, all the U.S. Opens, like the head deal, um, catering and, the, cons- and every she works with the USGA and caters. Yeah, for all the golf tournaments. Yeah, it used to be catering and concessions. Now the concessions is out. She just caters. She caters uh, for the for the the pros and everyone that's so involved. So she takes in her it. show on the road to Tory Pines this summer. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, wow. it's huge. Um, that's pretty cool. Very cool. I went to. Uh, Oakmont. Got to give that podcast a listen. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, yeah. you should. Uh, she was just down in Florida for the, the Walker Cup, uh, which was Seminole. Yeah, that's it was a Seminole. Yeah. yeah, exactly right. Mm-hmm. You played that? I have. Yeah, that's a great track. It's sweet. It's it's hard. <laughs> is it on the is it on the water? Uh, it's on the water. It's so an incredible beautiful. piece of property. Mm. Great old Donald Ross with those just brutal turtleback greens that 
get in a sand trap on one of them, you're going to be in the sand trap on the other side in <laughs> one swing. Back and forth, back and forth. Uh-huh. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you get a lot of – get good at your sand game, you know. Look at the upswing. <laughs> Um, you get down to Florida much? Uh, a bit, yeah. My <coughs> um, in-laws have a place down there, so we try to get down at least once a winter. Where at? Um, they're in Hobe Sound, um, just north of Palm Beach. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Great area. Around, it's around always, our stomping ground. Yeah. Always feels good to warm up in the winter. Oh, that's the best. Yeah. You ever, you ever play that part three course down there? No. Uh, in 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 Palm Beach, it's Palm Beach. I think it's oh, Palm Palm Beach Public, like okay. a part three. Yeah. Right on the water, like it's all like county land or whatever. They like all the developers are like salivating to try to get that thing. I feel like part part three <clears throat> golf is really your style, Bill. It's kind of my style. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sounds like your thing. Let's do that. Let's let's, let's play. Yeah. Let's go love, play. Next love to. Yeah. Love to. Um, go play Salt Pond. Salt Pond. Come on down to Bethany. Stay at the house. Come uh, on. I, I always walk that memory I, I, lane. I've never been able to play in the salty uh, dog. Salty dog. I'm always away. You know, that, that, that that time as well. We you're oh, you in town. You've always been a great communicator in that regard, and you're like you always want, want to play, and you've always and you always contributed uh, generously. So thank you. Well, it's a great cause. Happy to support it. Wish I could, just yeah. wish I could play. Yeah. Okay. Well, August seventh. I know. I'm, again, I'm gone this year. I'm gone every year. <laughs> Is that when you're up at Fisher's Island? Yeah. It's not I mean, a bad place to be. It's, be- better, it's better than the salt pond. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, man. Them fighting words there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go check out this Fisher Island, okay? Debatable. debatable yeah. Debatable. It's, 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 <laughs> Up for interpretation. I yeah, as as much art. Yeah. You, you can make your own judgment. <laughs> hey, maybe I have to come swim on up there to Fisher Island. They do have some par fours and par fives, though. Oh, boy. I'll skip those. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a, a four-hole round for me because there's four par threes. Great. Get to the 19th hole. It's going to just swell. It'll maybe, be just fine. Maybe we do, uh, just fine. Maybe we do Salty Dog uh, North. Salty Dog North. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll set it up. One Salty Dog versus another. <laughs> it's going to be a one-on-one affair. <laughs> um, I don't even know how we got on that topic. Golf. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to play sometime. Mm-hmm. got to give me some tips, though. I, you don't want that. I mean, I don't know. Keep your eye on the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Never ask anyone else for advice in your golf swing. Yeah, 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 right, 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 right. So you got your two man coming up. Yeah, this weekend. Is it you and Geo? Me and Geo. Let's go. We got our first match. Uh, got to buy the first round, so. Yeah, you pay the guy off, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Whatever, whatever works, man. <laughs> Grease the wheels. Um, so Sunday. Who do you play? Um, we are playing against Brock Tomlinson and Drew Jordan. Drew Jordan? Yeah. You know that name. I do know that name. Yeah, 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 yeah. From uh, the area, uh, went to prep. I believe so. Play, played lacrosse at UVA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. young guy. Yeah, he just, was a little younger than us. He just moved in down the street. Um, uh, so for, was, from you? From me and Geo, actually. Cool. Yeah. So, and then uh, Brock's battle, another, Brock's, battle of the block. Brock's another new new member. So great. Should be super fun. I think fun. it's their first two man. So we really, I mean, we got to take it. <laughs> Can't let them. Yeah, you're. I mean, you're a seasoned vet. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're getting there. Yeah, we usually make it a couple of rounds and then and then, and then bail. And then bail. Well, just like you know, scheduling. Oh, the scheduling's the worst. Yeah. But, you talking about bail meaning like you oh, just no, give we, up? No, 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 no. Of course not. But you, just, <laughs> you lose. We lose. You didn't want to say the L word. It's tough. <laughs> uh, no, I, Henry and I but this usually. Is the year. Have, this is the year, Bill. This is the year. I think so too. Travis Cup. I think so too. I mean, that, now that you're out. <laughs> now that you're out, I got a yeah, chance. A clear pathway to the championship. Got a chance. Yeah, don't mess it up, right, Austin? Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so, that'd be such a fun of all the tournaments, you know, at Columbia. Like to win the two man would be special. Yeah. So I mean, and hard as all get out. Hard as all get out. Um, put, so Gio and I were saying we the, we, just, the we, just had, we just had the Minix last weekend, the, yeah, the Columbia yeah. member member, yeah. and we we won that four years ago, mm-hmm. and that's. Like, I think in a way, a bigger deal because it's a weekend thing, a weekend affair. Everyone's yeah. like watching. And it's yeah. like, I mean, Gio practically ripped his shirt off when he won in front of this huge crowd in 18. No way. Um, Gio? <laughs> Shout out Gio. Let's go. Get on get on pillars. Um, but, Watch ya. Uh, is he a pillar? He's a pillar. I mean, what are you talking about? Is he a yeah. pillar? I'm just kidding. I know. He, he's, of course he is. Um, but um, 
But the, tri- the Travis Cup, no one's there watching. So it's like it kind of happens in the background, but it is the hardest thing to do, right? It's like to schedule all the matches and to, to make it through the whole field all year, all summer long. A ma- all matter of like uh, prolonged, sustained consistency. Keep, keep, <clears throat> keeping your game in the right spot. You know what I'm saying? To win it's in like winning the FedEx April, Cup or something. May and June. It's, it's the same very thing. Very similar. I think there is a $10 million prize, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right I think the Fed, Fed, they got it from Columbia. I mean, <laughs> Mr. Travis tipped the PGA onto this, uh, this magic. So, um, it's, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, get, get good, to be, good to be playing golf. Incredible weather. Good to be playing golf. So, when you golf, what belt do you wear? You don't wear belts, do you? You don't, don't wear belts. You don't wear loafers. You know, <laughs> you carry. I do a paper clip. I, I, I got a whole closet full. I'm just, so just kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever, mood, whatever, whatever yeah. Whatever mood you probably, you probably to the occasion. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's a golf one. There's like a yeah. Columbia I one. Got a Superman belt in case I do you? Know, feel like I've always had like a Superman thing and. So I have a you've Superman. always had a thing for like you like Superman. Is your favorite superhero? Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Like Christopher Reeves. Um, yeah, the original, right? Original. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like they haven't really they need need, need a solid yeah. remake. They haven't like Christian bailed it with like he when he did Batman, you right, know, right, right. just totally, totally right. killed it, mm-hmm. reinvigorated that whole thing. No, I, th- I think I think I should do that. <laughs> you got the belt. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Um, <sighs> I should give you this shirt that I have. This T-shirt, and it's like. It's white, right? It looks like a, a it's like a dress shirt. Okay. Uh, so it's like, it sounded like an optical illusion, and then it has <laughs> up here, and then like underneath, you can see like the S, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has, I'll show it to you before you leave. And it has um a, the, a red tie looking thing, so it looks like like right there. Yeah. People are like, they're like, oh yeah, it's just, it's a t-shirt, but you know, it's maybe it's not. Maybe it's not a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm Superman. All right. Who's to say I'm not? <laughs> oh, Bill. Oh, Bill. Um. Yeah, so um, I'm uh, I'm cranking through the. I mean, Superman's not Marvel. I don't think Are you get any of those movies. Yeah, they're great. Comic book and, they're on, and they're on TV. Like the, it's like the only thing ever on TV. There's a Marvel movie on every night. Or Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> and, and who's complaining, right? Or Rob Roy. Or who's complaining? No, I, I agree. I agree. You ever see Rob Roy? I've missed that so far. It's Rob Roy came out right I think on the heels of Braveheart, and it's a similar story. I think with Liam Neeson. Okay. And what was it like ninety six? Okay, but it's like overlooked gem, you know. Very overlooked. It is. It is. I've never heard of it. Yeah, very. <laughs> you haven't heard of it. That, you got that. You hit that nail on the head, Garish. It's no. It's, not, it's, no, it's no Braveheart. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, there's only one Braveheart. But uh, yeah, it's just you should check it out, Robert. Okay. You know who's one whose favorite movie that Note, is? Noted. Joe David. <laughs> there's one of his. Fa- yeah, yeah. Go down. It's like that's one's Joe David loves Rob Roy and. The man who would be king, which is uh, '70s another, another Sean riff. Connery and Christopher Plummer, maybe. Okay, so I can't really judge how effective that um, recommendation is. <laughs> <laughs> you have no, you have I, I nothing. Didn't know it was number three. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You have no really measuring stick, but you, you know Joe David, and you know me. I do. And there you go. So they're, they're... still questionable. <laughs> All right, fine. Watch Superman again. Watch <laughs> Superman five. So he finally gets Lex Luthor. <laughs> uh, but I'm working my way through the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the MCU. You got a lot of screen time ahead of you. You got the list up there. I keep looking at it. I am think I'm on uh, phase two, which is, involves Iron Man 3, and I like Thor a lot. Is this a personal journey? You're doing it with, with the kids? With... A little bit of both. Yeah. It's a personal thing that I just, I'm just put it on and just like hope they just like kind of like jump on board with me. There's seven movies in and it hasn't really happened yet. Who are you connecting with? <laughs> the kids, you mean? Superhero-wise. Oh, oh, oh uh, that's a good question. Um, I like Iron Man. Yeah. The character's phenomenal. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Kind of had you as more of a Thor. I like Thor a lot. But, you know, I, 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 like, Iron, I like Iron Man character because he's, like, smart. He's intellectual. That's why I had you as Thor. <laughs> Opposite day. <laughs> um... No, I've come a long way since our, our, our days, you know, back in uh, at modern day. And when you were a cursive king. Exactly. I prepped and everything. I got my uh, master's in the great books. I know. I know. Yeah. I, I, I still call them Socrates. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> That'll go down. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I like Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thor's, <laughs> Thor's phenomenal. 
Actually, the soundtrack. I think this is good content, by the way. This is phenomenal content. Um, the soundtrack for Thor, the movie, is yeah. is I love it. It's a, it's it's a move. It's a moving soundtrack that I've like. I'll put it on the computer on YouTube or whatever. It's like an hour. Or it's Are these like original compositions, or are they just like like songs picked out from? Pop no, they're, they're original songs. compositions. Oh yeah, wow. yeah, like symphonic, like Hans Zimmer type. It's Hans Zimmer, exactly right. Is it Hans? I don't think it is. He's no. a genius. Yeah, he's very very good. Yeah, he. he uh, Hans Zimmer was Jurassic Park. I think he did Jurassic Park. Gladiator. The Gladiator. He did. Have you seen the movie True Romance? Uh, I don't know. I'll put that on the list. Okay. Uh, Christian Slater and uh, Arquette. Above Patricia or below Arquette. Rob Arquette. Roy. Say it again. Above or below Rob Roy. I put it on the top. True Romance is, is it's one of Tarantino's first films. He I don't know if he directed it, but he wrote it. He wrote, oh, yeah, that, he wrote, that, that's the one that's like it's not like truly one of his. Correct. It's but, not his but, true canon, but he but he yeah. wrote, he wrote the screenplay. Yeah. It's fun. It's phenomenal. It's so fun. It's a fun, fun flick. I wouldn't watch it with the kids. Watch it with amazing. You and amazing. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get into it. With the kids. Amazing and I. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure she'll go for it, but she will. Yeah. She'll, I think she'll like it. Okay. Yeah. It's fun. It's a fun movie. It's clever, and it's got some action, and it's and it's and, and some romance, and and it's great. Yeah. It's a good love story. It really is. It's got it all. <laughs> um. Anyway. So you got some watching to do, buddy. All right, Seriously. stop stop working so hard. Seriously, jeez, gotta catch up. Um, so when are you gonna go back? We talked earlier. You haven't been to Vietnam since January twenty twenty. Yeah, no, it used to be um, kind of a two to three times a year trip. Yeah, amazing place, amazing country, yeah. incredible people. Yeah, um, and and yeah, this pandemic thing gets in the way. Yeah, um, I haven't really been anywhere so. Vietnam is certainly not on the list. I had no plans. I mean, you still talk me. You talk to Quan on the phone. <laughs> yeah, we're. We, is his English still broken? No, his English is, is much better. His <laughs> boys speak great English. That's so, wonderful. Um, so he's your, your sort of point over there. He's our guy. Yeah, um, and we, obviously we, trust we, uh, him. And we took him. We had a kind of a fifteen-year party celebration. So we, cool. Um, we went to. Uh, we, we we realized Wait, early, like last year, early years on ago? in this thing. Yeah, we realized early on that. Um, what do we do? We go to work in Vietnam with him and yeah, and hang out. But then five o'clock, go home. And, yeah, and so we realized pretty early on, like, what are you gonna do? He's like, I'm gonna go meet, meet some friends for beer. I'm like, oh, beer's great. Let's do it. Yeah. So we both love beer, and yeah. there's some fun bars in Hanoi. So we've always hung out, um, drinking beers after work and just telling funny stories. He loves to have a laugh. Um, and so we said early on, hey, if we make it to 15 years, Kwong, like going to Germany was always like, he'd make all his b- jokes about German beer. <laughs> I mean, if we make it to 15 years, we'll take you to Oktoberfest. And he remembered that like 12 years later. And he said, hey, guys, hey, 15 years is coming up. It's coming up. Yeah. So we, And uh, I still like beer. Yeah. We took him to Munich uh, 2019, right before the pandemic all Special. happened and crushed Oktoberfest with him. It was so much fun. Have you ever done that? Uh no, I've been in Munich, but I haven't. I never done the, uh, during that time. I was there over over the summer. You yeah. know, so a you while can still back. go to all like the great breweries and like be in like there. We uh, we were at house per house. Yeah, yeah exactly. you know, yeah. we were there at like ten a.m. I was there with my mom, dad, and Linda, and um, waiting for a flight. I think out of Munich. <laughs> we were there at ten having beer, a couple liters before. Yeah, the yeah, flight. big big boys, mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> that oompa band comes on. <laughs> yeah. I remember like. We gotta go catch our flight back to like you know the real world. Like, oh come on, it's just getting good. Yeah, no, you put up. I'll I'll put some movies on my to do list. You gotta put Oktoberfest on on your to do list. Great, done. It's pretty great. It's Schnitzel. Too, it's too bad. I, I don't know. I don't know if it'll happen. I haven't heard anything about this year. But this coming year, we're uh, we're turning forty this year. It's mm-hmm. kind of one of those common things people do to um, celebrate a big mm-hmm. milestone mm-hmm. Right over there. But maybe next year. Yeah, um, trying to get married too, so big year, lot to do. We have a date. I got the the best date in the f- world, Debbie. No, I know. I, I, I just, just love my life, man. But da- a- yeah, yeah, yeah. Dates, uh, not so much. Not yet. Not yet. We're working on it. Okay. We're ironing some things out, but every you know what, all the, uh, the all the the um, wrinkles are, are, are you know, going flat because that's what irons do. So we're getting there. You know about the irons and stuff being in the fashion business? It's a process. Yeah. It takes a lot of heat and pressure. <laughs> Sorry, right. That's how you make diamonds. Um, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. I talked about uh, marriage. Yeah. I, uh, I, I don't have any... I wouldn't say I, don't have, I have no doubt about it, but 
I really don't have many uh, doubts about. It's definitely worth it. Just getting a taste of uh, having a family and being with her kids and stuff like that is just, um, and Meg, it's very, um, it works for me. As you could probably know, I, I, I really enjoy kids. I always have. Oh, you're, an, you're an, like a, you are one of the original family men. You're, 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 you came from, your, your, your family is one of the best. Thank you. You know? Thank I mean, you. Thank you. Thank um, you. Loved growing up around your family, and you learned a lot of that, a lot of the good, good things that make for great, yeah, family, great father. Great. Uh, it's and it's, I, it's fun, it's fun, yeah. <laughs> you know. And I love Debbie, so it's a, it's a no doubt. I'm very excited. We're very excited. You're lucky. I am. You know, it's good stuff. You and Maisie. Uh huh. We had 13 years in the in the deep um, in marriage. Unreal. Yeah. Linda, Linda and Henry are in 12, 12, uh, on the 16th of, uh, of May coming up. Wow. They're, be... they're going to Florida. They go to Florida every, um. So Linda got married pretty young then. Yeah, she did. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. I mean, they were like, they were, they go. Or high, back to high school. Yeah. High school sweetheart. DeMatha. He, right. he took her to like a DeMatha, maybe Gonzaga basketball game or something. Mm-hmm. And that was, that was it. That was the beginning of everything. Um, but you and Maisie from college, right? Yeah, Florence, Florence Italy. Yeah, yeah. You thought, that's how we started the podcast. Yeah, um, you know, it'll be twenty. So she, 20 she years was Bo- she was Bowden. She went to Trinity College. You guys met, or, Captain, you met, Captain you met, Nesgak. You met, okay, yeah. You met over there we in met, Florence. We did. We we we'd kind of randomly been around each other a few times before that. Yeah, um, but never really hung out. And then early been on, around each other here. Or? No, no, no. Just like. Uh, different events we've kind of both been at or something okay. like, coincidentally in our okay. lives before that but um but never really talked or connected until, yeah until italy and then it's been it's been great ever since unreal yeah really really cool florence is a good place to do it like we talked earlier it's one of the best spots in maybe in the world oh hard to yeah, i can't imagine it's pretty easy to fall in love when you're <laughs> yeah. there, walking around one of the most beautiful cities anywhere drinking yeah. wine staring at the david staring <laughs> no, no, no. that's what <laughs> Austin, I see where's that. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's special. Mm-hmm. Good for you, man. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, Good buddy. For you. you watching lacrosse lately? You st- you you still watch any of the game or stay connected to the game at all? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll tune in. I mean, I'm Maryland's team's insane. What about Nescak? What about Nescak? Yeah, yeah, about uh, your uh, the Bo- the league. Bowden's not playing this year. They didn't they play. Didn't, they didn't play last year. I mean, I guess no one no one really played last year, but uh-huh. um, Bowden as a school seemed to kind of err on the side of caution more than, yeah. more than others and, and didn't get it together. But, um, no, I mean, th- those poor kids are just junior seniors who just missed their last couple of years. Unreal. That, that's the Ivies. Yeah. Not nothing. Right. right. No, not, not. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of transfers, a lot of like, so there's a guy, I think the guy at Princeton, like the lead scorer from a uh, uh, Princeton history or whatever transferred to Duke. Yeah. I mean, and I- he's, like Sour, I think his name is. Mm-hmm. He's tearing it up. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Why would? Yeah. Exactly. Why would you if you want to play, you know. Yeah. No. I think there's. You so take many... a gap year. You can. You can go and like work or something like that. You know, and then come back whenever the, the sport is <laughs> no, that, that's... in vogue again. But yeah. yeah. No, I think that's what my take was. Like, if you're in college right now, you shouldn't go to college right now. You should. You should have been home doing something. It's hard to do anything, but like. Finishing, yeah, you do something. College, yeah. Even play, playing sports or not playing sports and missing these years, like. With in in person, that's like you're missing too much of the experience. Exactly right, exactly right. Uh, I mean, yeah, even if you were even if you were like a student and you're doing everything sort of like virtual, I'm like no, you have the opportunity, you know, to take a year off. Right? Why not? Why wouldn't you do it and go out west, work on a ranch or something? Yeah, the world will the world will wait. Uh, yeah, it'll it'll heal. Everyone will come back. Um, but maybe I mean I think it'll be interesting to see what happens in. Uh, higher ed after all this it, the fact that the educational part of it is possible to do remotely I mean yeah. it's always been this kind of conversation that schools might change and that you might not need to pay all this crazy money to go to these schools and get the education and right. maybe you can do stuff outside of it right uh, right club sports and kind of trend <laughs> could be interesting it's uh it's crazy money it's you crazy, know yeah well, I mean, that's kind of happened. With so the even, bubble, with the bubble even, might with burst. It's even youth stuff, right? I mean, like mm-hmm. youth, youth sports, you, you pay attention more than I do, but mm-hmm. like it seems like those are going, like club matters more than schools for a lot of, mm-hmm. a lot of folks. Now. It's the kind of, it's kind of the European model. Yeah. I don't like, like it. 
<sighs> I don't either, because it's like school pride and stuff like that. Right. I mean, it's how we grew up. It's, it's kind of hard to like something that's different than how you grew up, you know. Right. Um, but uh, it's the it's like the European soccer sort of right. model of uh, you have your school, and then you have your athletics, and they're separate. And you play your athletics sort of like all year round, you right. know, your, your sport yeah. all year round. You're all in. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, I. I mean, that's why they call like all you're an all American, you know. Uh, student or boy or girl or whatever you play three sports right. uh, there's that are kind of synonymous in a way that that term yeah. all american yeah well rounded get get some exactly right well rounded cross train yeah i mean i uh for a while after college i, I coached like youth lacrosse and yeah and even like when they were in like uh, a bunch of different grades but they were so over scheduled so overdone yeah. they were getting sick of it at like fifth or sixth grade like that's it's just a waste yeah it's so, it's uh it is it's yeah fun Exactly right. If they want to do it, great. Get them out there. But yeah, I mean, that's. I think that's the right philosophy. Um, I like to think that I'll espouse that philosophy when I have my own children. I think I will. Um, do you change? Would you do notice when you have your kids? Do you think you essentially changed at all? Or I hope not. It's like sometimes me as you, being in the sort of like education and coaching and stuff like that. You'd have friends, and then you see another side of them come out when their kid is you're teaching their kid. You know. I'm like, hey, why did he get a why did he get a B in PE? Uh, because he did, because he because <laughs> he was out of uniform, or like I think he could play harder. Okay, like, <laughs> it's f- first grade PE, buddy. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I probably just like you know I, I messed up. I wasn't really thinking. I I dozed off. I'm like, sure, a B. You know. <laughs> I was I was gonna. Get why are we even have this conversation? I was gonna, gonna get back to your grading philosophy for first grade PE. <laughs> that was the next topic, right? Yeah. But uh, you understand what I'm saying now? I remember talking to Kevin Giblin about this, and he's like, oh, yeah, people uh, change when they're pookie, you know, as their pookie is invo- involved, you no, know? I mean, it's like playing time. And, oh, I mean, know. and, and parent, parents are, <coughs> you educators, my, my amazing, amazing, my wife was an educator before she, um, she became a mom, and yeah. it, you guys are incredible what you deal with, with with parents. Parents get intense. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's um absolutely. What was I gonna say? Uh, but yeah, the, the, I think yeah, the, the, exposing your kids to as mu- as many things as possible, obviously within reason. We're not gonna go uh, skydiving or bungee jumping yet, um, and see what sticks. Yeah, I mean, let, let them be happy. If they want to do a ton of things, great. Are your kids uh, swim team? No, we're not really swimmers in the, yeah. in the Branson family. More land creatures. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're st- you're st- you're st- shallow you're swim- you know shallow yeah, baby pool. <laughs> <laughs> give me that well, give me that water slide, but don't forget my water wings. <laughs> Were um, you a swimmer? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. A sinker. <laughs> uh, well, you know, it takes all all sorts, all right? Make the world go round. You were a big swimmer. I was I I swam uh, a lot. And my sister, Linda, we were swimmers. We're, we're gonna get uh hopefully uh Debbie's girls swimming. Nice. We're gonna go to the indoor pool, I think, tomorrow and Make sure they don't sink. Do you, do you still get in the water? You still you go swim laps or anything? I uh, no, I used to. I love running. You know, knock on wood. As long as my body holds up and all, but I probably run five times a week. Um, do some push ups and stuff like that. And, but uh, swimming's great. It's a great workout. You're like, you're, you're like naturally always just been in shape though, too, right? Well, thank you very much. Yeah, we can leave it at that. That's <laughs> that's going to be a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Did you get that last word there, Austin said. Yeah. <laughs> just that. No, I mean, like, it's, it's no, no, that, yeah, I've, some I've, freaky genetics going on. I've got some good genetics. Yeah. Uh, I did put on, like, probably 10 pounds over the pandemic. Yes, um, I saw that. You saw that? I'm just kidding. Okay. We got to end. No. no. <laughs> um, it's, like, not, not for a lack of working out, necessarily. I still worked out hard, but it's just the sedentary lifestyle. The kitchen was very close the whole time. The kitchen's very, I mean, yeah. yeah. You're not up running around, like, chasing kids or... Going to PE class or running with the kids or that whole that whole deal, you know. So this is your first year off from my retirement. <laughs> That's correct. First year into retirement. Retirement. It's lovely. Sab- sabbatical or retirement? What's next? Podcasts, I guess. If I can get away with, I mean, I wouldn't mind being retired. Yeah. Yeah. A podcast, parent, what read, write, watch movies, golf a little bit. It sounds pretty great. How, God. how does how does one pull that off? Don't know yet. At age 40. <laughs> <laughs> With the podcast. I'm enjoying my uh, t- 
temporary retirement, my gap year. I was offering to sponsor the podcast. He's not, not even monetizing this thing yet, so. we uh, got to start over. But he's retired. We can end with that. Okay. Uh, but uh, it's a valid question that I get from my mom daily. <laughs> <laughs> How's Denise, your savings doing? Denise is on to something. It's not in the growing right now. <laughs> Mother? It's all in Bitcoin. Is this a Groundhog Day? <laughs> it's just how this comes from yesterday. What's the deal with Bitcoin? You think it's going to be a real deal thing in a few years? I was talking to somebody the other day. It's like everything's going to be Bitcoin's going to go. What's it at now? Like fifty dollars or something? Fifty-seven thousand dollars per coin. Yeah, so, I mean that was the last time I looked. I don't know. If it's it's going to go up there. to like in the millions or something. Um, then I, if that's true, we should, we should buy some. I know we should buy some. Um, I was actually talking to Debbie's ex. Okay. We're just starting to mend and. Get along. We had we had breakfast the other day at Old Georgetown Grill, which I love that place. Classic place. Yeah, yeah. classic place. And he's in finance at Morgan Stanley, and he's like, he's just on the phone. He's like, I'm transferring everything to Bitcoin. He's like, I don't even know what that even fucking means. Um, Excuse my French. It's okay. We don't, uh, it's a kid show. Family friendly show. <laughs> yeah, no, it's above my pay grade too, as well, Bill. Yeah, um, I think everyone who kind of acts like they know what they're talking about is completely full of it. Um, it's interesting. Yeah. It's, uh, but. Yeah. No, no. I am, uh, on the side You're of holding the holding off judgment for the time of year. Yeah, I'm a Dogecoin guy. Dogecoin. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all, all these, uh, cryptos, cryptocurrencies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but no, uh, again, weird, weird world, but. Yeah. People have made a killing in it right now. Uh, in Bitcoin. Sure, yeah. Or, right, or cryptocurrency in general? Yeah. I'm, looking, I'm, looking, I'm hoping you can educate me here a little bit, Austin. No, you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong place. Or I'm in the wrong I place. Gotta get, yeah, I gotta get, I gotta get Tim. Shout out Tim Conley. I'm gonna come out on, on a podcast, Debbie's ex, and talk Bitcoin. Get into crypto. Mm-hmm. Really get in there. Um, alrighty. You can keep talking. I can do this all day. This is fun. Likewise, good catching up. Yeah, amen. I'll catch up on the golf course. Par three is only, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you need a that's model, that's, that's harder. See, that, that's the thing. Like. Playing par threes. Like I that's, know. That's I know. Actually, I, but yeah, those are those are tough holes. But they're the high handicap holes, though. I know it doesn't make sense to me. Like, less margin for error, I guess. Less strokes involved. I don't remember. Number four, Columbia is. It's, it's the it's fooler. Par four. It's the fooler. <laughs> it's, a par it's a par four, four exactly. Yeah. It's a very hard hole. Yeah. Um. All right. So if you're looking for um any like modeling for your catalogs and everything, I got a your guy. Dog. I got a guy. <laughs> he lives down. I'm kidding. <laughs> Remember at the end of Dumb and Dumber? Yeah. He's like, hey, we're in the Hawaiian tropical. We're looking for two lucky men to help oil us up before the show. You're in luck. <laughs> There's a town about 10 miles down the road that way. <laughs> we'll get our See, lucky break. That's a break. good movie. That's we'll a good movie reference. We'll get our lucky break one of these days, That's Lord. a good movie reference, Bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No Rob Roy, no. <laughs> Keep it light over there, you know? That's the only movie that I've referenced that you've seen. <laughs> Very fitting. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. You know. <laughs> um, yeah. Take Elvis. He, he got some big model. I'm not sure about Elvis. The other, the other one. Yeah. The fluff ball. Yeah. 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 Elvis. Uh, kind of fits, fits the brand. Elvis is more like you know face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> He's a podcast dog. It's, 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 there you go. He's my dog. <laughs> All right, Austin. Thanks a lot for coming, dude. And uh, this podcast has been brought to you by Smathers and Branson. Uh, Stitch above. Not just one stitch, multiple stitches above the famed Needlepoint company. Your source for everything Needlepoint. Belts to loafers, loafers to money clips and wallets. There you go, Bill. See, see, I told you you could do this advertising Steering wheel covers. I told you. (laughs) Now you're onto something. (laughs) Good product development session. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, License, license, personal license plate thingies. Okay, we can can be done. All right, we can be done. All right. (laughs) Thank you, bro. Thanks, Bill. All right, buddy. Bye.